You've now seen most of the techniques that are used for microscale gas chemistry. Uh, with these techniques, you can generate quite a variety of gases, 10 in all. And um, uh, let me tell you a little bit about reference materials that may help you. First of all, perhaps you are aware of the journal Chem 13 News. Our articles have appeared in this journal since 1996. And as we do more experiments with gases, we publish the results in Chem 13 News. The articles are maintained in an updated version in this book, available from Educational Innovations, and uh, uh, titled Microscale Gas Chemistry. It includes up-to-the-date um, uh, word-for-word uh, coverage of all of the articles that appeared in the, in the magazine. There's also a website that includes the text, the same text that's in this book, as well as quite a few color photographs of all of the interesting experiments. Uh, it doesn't replace owning the book because you'd end up printing out lots and lots of website pages, but the website is available and is free of charge. Finally, there's this larger book available from Flynn Scientific. Uh, this book covers the first 10 gases, the gases that uh, you now um, know the technique for the generation of. These are the gases where you, uh, that can be made by putting um, a reagent inside the test tube and another reagent drawn in from the bottom. Uh, this book is designed for teacher and student use and has some really very nice features. Uh, for example, I just opened it um, randomly to this page, experiment 4.7, and uh, there are pictures that show step by step what should be done so students can follow along and uh, weighing the reagent, filling the syringe with water, uh, floating the cap, draining the syringe, and so on. Um, so it's a fairly uh, student-friendly version. At the end of each experiment, there are questions that can be answered. So this book contains information on only 10 gases, uh, but in detail suitable for students to use and teachers as well. By comparison, the Educational Innovations book covers 15 gases and will cover more gases as we do experiments with more gases. Um, and, uh, but it's written basically at, at the teacher's level and there are no questions and answers. It's a much thinner book.